hello guys you are welcome back to the channel it's your boy christian omeje of optic digital hub and today in this video i'll be showing you how to install facebook pixel on your seller.co product page Okay, so just like I said, I'll be showing you how to install Facebook Pixel on your seller.co landing page in this video. So I'm right here inside my Facebook business manager. And if you do not know how to arrive here, then you are new to Facebook ads. I've done a full video to teach you how to run Facebook ads on scratch. You can check the link on the description of this video to watch that video and learn how to run Facebook ads on scratch. So that being said, just like I said, I'll be showing you how to install Pixel on your seller store today. So how do you do that now? We'll come over to this hamburger icon that says all tools. Then we'll go over to events manager. Just scroll down. As you can see, this is events manager right here. I have also done a video on how to install Pixel on WordPress. If you have a WordPress website and you want to install Pixel on your WordPress website, I've done that video. Check on the link on the description of this video to access that video as well. So now just open this up in a new tab. So as you can see right here, because this is a totally new ad account that I'm using to run ads, or will I say a new business manager I'm using to run my ads. As you can see, it's very new. I'll just click on this point that says connect data. You understand? Once I tap on it, you're going to see some options right here. So the one you should be choosing is the first one, which says web, because you're trying to connect your website so that you can track activities of people on your website so i just click on web and click on connect then just name your pixel whatever you want to name it you understand so i'll just name it as mine so as you can see i've renamed my pixel i'll just create this pixel so if you check out right here they are telling you to put your website url it is not a must you understand just click on i do not have a website then just continue then right here they are now asking you what do you want do you want to do conversion api and meta pixel or yes only trying to do meta pixel just click on meta pixel only although conversion api is kind of important these days but just continue with meta pixel then click on next so immediately i clicked on next as you can see my pixel has been generated although i tapped on it twice and my pixel was created like i think twice or thrice so i just click on this so as you can see i created this pixel about four times i tapped on it about four times and as you can see it's the same pixel name but different pixel id i'll just pick one of them because i made a mistake by tapping it about four times so now as you can see your pixel hasn't received any activity yet so i'm going to choose one of the pixel to install on my seller.co store and then we continue so how do you now do that i'll just click on this point tap here copy this pixel id can you see it copy it like this then i'll go over to my seller so this is my seller dashboard as you can see this is my seller dashboard so what i'm going to do right here is that i'll just come to this point and scroll down to this point that says integration then they're asking you what do you want to integrate facebook pixel google tag manager mailchimp i'll just click on facebook pixel so right here they say integrate facebook pixel on your seller store everything you can see profile and products page view add to cart purchase and all of them initiate checkout so now this is where you paste your pixel id you understand so this is not the one this was a former pixel id i was using i'm going to paste the new one i just copied so this is the new one i copied and i'm going to click on update pixel so as you can see pixel settings updated so now they're telling me that i should head over to uh, event manager slash so, 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 slash my pixel to test the event but if i do not want to click here you can automatically click here to continue but let's just say i didn't, I didn't click here i go back to my business manager to continue you understand i will have to test my event so what i will just have to do firstly is i will go back to seller and copy my store link so this is my seller 
I'll scroll up and as you can see, this is my store link. I'll copy my store link. Then I go back to, to Facebook, come to this point that says test events. You understand? Then right here, I'm going to click on this point and tap on enter website URL. Then I'm going to open it up. So as you can see, my seller store has loaded up. So I'll go back to my event manager. And as you can see, it has tested that page view has been recorded on my seller store. So what next do I have to do? This is like a confirmation that my pixel has been successfully installed on my seller store. Now, one thing you should know is that seller has already generated every conversion for you. So you don't have to start doing event setup because seller has done all of that for you automatically so that being said i just have to first of all refresh this page so that you can see that the activity will be shown that yes some activity have been some activities have been tracked on this pixel so as you can see right here it shows that some activities is already coming up although it has not shown up here it takes a bit of time like three to five minutes before your activities shows up here but as you can see it shows that the pixel has been installed so but how do you also confirm that your pixel has been installed on your store what you need to do is just go over to google and install this chrome extension that is normally used to check if pixel is installed on any website it's called facebook pixel helper so as you can see this is the chrome extension i just tap on it and install it inside this my chrome browser so as you can see i've clicked on add to chrome and i'm clicking on add extension okay so as you can see this extension has already been installed right here and to locate this extension just tap on this icon as you can see right here as you can see facebook pixel helper what i will do is that i will pin it to the top of my chrome browser then i will visit my store link again to be sure that this pixel is on my store link so right here before refreshing this store you can see that this is showing that there is no pixel on this website but once i refresh this store link right now it should pick up that a pixel has been installed on this website so as you can see very very amazing as you can see it shows that pixel is already installed on my store but what is showing up right now is page view so for you now to know that every other options are being tracked like when people make purchase or when people add to cart on your seller store what you just need to do is to follow one of your products and make a purchase you understand follow one of your products and make a purchase it can be for example as you can see you can just upload a free product as you can see i have one right here i'll just follow it as you can see i just tap on this one for example i'll just click on this point like this as you can see it says read now i'll just click on it then because you are trying to activate both checkout add to cart and more me i used read now yours can be checkout add to cart you understand so once you just fill in these dummy details just click on continue yours will be checkout i'm just i just customized mine like this so as you can see this is like the purchase page so from seller now everything has been tracked let me show you once we tap here you can see page view has been tracked purchase has also been tracked on this my pixel so it's all good right now if i go to this my event manager right here and i get to refresh it after like five minutes it's going to show me that purchase has been tracked page view has been tracked and probably checkout or add to cart also have been tracked so once you have loaded your page after three to five minutes then you can see right here that the pixel is here and as you can see everything has been initiated as you can see we have page view we have view content add to cart initiate checkout and purchase so any of this conversion tracking you are trying to do when running your ads any of them is going to pick up when you begin to run your conversion ads so if you want to learn how to run conversion ads i have videos on my channel on how to run conversion ads you can check those videos and then set up your ads so that being said this is how to install pixel on your seller store okay guys so if you need help with your facebook ads you need someone to help you scale up your business with facebook ads you can hire my agency 
Optic Digital Hub. We have helped over 500 businesses scale up their business using Facebook ads, and we can help you do that as well. But if you want to learn how to do it by yourself and you want to learn from the best, you can also join my Facebook Ads Antidote Academy, where I teach Facebook ads from scratch. So if you need any of these, just check on the description of this video. You will see a link to chat me directly on WhatsApp and we can continue from there. If you got value from that session, ensure that you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so you get notified when I drop amazing videos just like this. And also don't forget to comment, like and also share this video so it can grow on the YouTube algorithm and people like you who need it will get to see it. So that being said, I'm going to see you on the next video. Take care and have fun.